Hey guys, greenhouses. So the topic of uh, discussion today would be the greenhouse. First of all, let me claim that the material used in my greenhouse for a three by two by two meters, which is three meters in length, two meters in width, and two meters in height. I can claim that I have used the least amount of material to build a galvanized steel durable greenhouse. There was a promotion going on and I got all this structure including connectors, including the plastic sheets and the galvanized pipe for 218 yuan divided by 7. Again roughly that's about $30. So this whole hoop house, cold hoop house, the greenhouse, cost me 30 US dollars. Thank you. Uh, the total length of the greenhouse, if you put all the pipes together in one straight line, uh, it's going to be 44.6 meters long. So let's get to my greenhouse and let's start talking about what I used, when I used and how I used. So this is my greenhouse standing on the northern side of uh, my garden, my terrace towards the north. It's covered with the polythene plastic sheet. And this is the entrance. And once you get in, you could see this. Uh, it's also my cat's space. Pretty spacious. The length uh, only three pipes have been used you could see here it starts from here and all the way to the end now this pipe this is the base no I can't show you because everything is covered now and this pipe is 2.97 meters long one then over here the second pipe in the base is also 2.97 meters long and the third pipe the longer ones is on top this one is three meters long so it's coming from here all the way till the <laughs> opening of the greenhouse. I there's a three centimeter uh, difference because of the T's which I used to you know get them together with each other the T's they also have an extra length of uh, 0 0.3 centimeters so that 0 0.3 centimeters along with the pipes 2.97 uh, meters that makes a three meter so all three pipes are actually of the same size. Then comes the base of the, the the greenhouse so this pipe is two meters in width it's the same as the case with the back end one that's two meter in, in 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 length but the one in the middle that's that's also in the middle this middle one is 1.93 meters long because again there is a around three centimeters of uh, uh, the connector connecting T and both sides so that makes it two meters long too well, right now we have already calculated that nine meters length and uh, six meters the width ones so that's 15 meters now let's come for the standards the ones I used from the first uh, angle these are 1.93 meters tall you can have you can customize them to any length but these are 1.9 meter tall and these standards one two three and four on this side and then one two three four on this side so that's all together eight of uh, these uh, these poles there they are connected to this connector uh, it's a it, it's a go through connector the pipe can go through it at the bottom here this pipe is going through the length wire pipe is going through it and then there's one you can 
pattern it with the with the screwdriver and it goes all the way up so all of them are till here now let's get to the top elbow so this one is a bent at the angle of around 45 degrees okay it's it, it makes a perfect arch till here this one is 1.25 meters so starting from the top all the way till where it's connected with the uh, the other standard not the standard standard and that's 1.25 meters on this side and then 1.25 meters on the other side and you can see the connectors here they're also uh, steel pipe uh, which is bent at the angle of around 22 degrees so it's 22 degrees towards this side and 22 degrees towards this side making a concave sort of kind of thing you bent, bent inside and same is the case the top one here you can see it's a little bigger than the pipe the galvanized pipe the standard pipe and these two elbows are connected with each other making a perfect arch a perfect circle half a circle actually why I did that why I used these connectors uh, see there's no screws no bolts no nuts nothing you just need to put this one on top of the stander and then this elbow is gotten in and then you connect that elbow over here with this one and then the other one starts from here and goes down into that one no need to do anything no screws no bolts nothing you could see that this is connected through this is simple to the, the reeling you use on the windows and there is a uh, metallic uh, wire here and the plastic has gone into this one and the metallic wire is covering it and there's no wind that can go through it and at the bottom is totally wrapped up folded inside so no wind can go in so in order to show how strong it is, I'll show you what I can do with it. So these top elbows, these were altogether eight, eight in uh, number and multiply by 1.25. So that makes almost 10 meters. So let me revise. We need two lengths of three meters and one for the top to connect um, the arc. So that's nine uh, meters. Then we needed the the widths, three widths. So I'm going to run with the round numbers, okay? So that's six, nine plus six is 15 meters. And then I needed the side standards for the wall, right? Four and four, eight. And let's say that was a 1.25 meters. So 1.25 meters multiplied by eight is 10 meters. So 15 plus 10 is 25 then we go for the for, for, for the arc right at the back of me over here this one and that was also 10 meters so that makes so this makes uh, 35 meters altogether not 35 meters so far that's a round number okay it's lower than that one but I'm just saying so 35 meters for now let's see what others other things I have used the door frame the door frame starts from here and these this pipe again here is connected with this 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 double uh, double sided hole so this one is two meters plus two meters on, on the other side so that's a door frame so that's an extra four meters back of the greenhouse again these two you could make a window here but I'm not making any windows here because uh, I don't require that one I will put a fan here for ventilation so anyhow so that's two and two four so four plus four eight 35 plus eight is 43 centimeters so far so now the door the door is 1.5 meters this length and the other one so that makes three liters uh, three meters not liters what's wrong with me today so 1.5 1.5 1 3 43 plus 3 is 46 and then you need these uh, 0 0.7 meter wide these are 0 0.7 meter wide and 3 so that makes 2 so 46 plus 2.1 meter is 48.1 meters roughly it's less than that what I've, I've calculated all things mine is uh, 44.6 meters in 
length if you put all these things together and that's all you need to assemble this greenhouse i saved a lot of money on buying the cutters and the benders and the welders the welding machine the cut i mean you have to use the power tools to acquire these kinds of but i didn't touch even a single thing i had it made customized and how i did it because you know if you go to a greenhouse those who sell professional greenhouses the cost is really high and i got these things everything sent by three different vendors the first vendor sent me the pipes cut according to my desires and uh, the second vendor uh, sent me uh, the connectors that i used for that one and the third vendor sent me uh, the, the the plastic sheets which i used to cover all this thing up so see you next time guys if you like this video please share it and if you share it subscribe my channel if you haven't see you next time bye